Well, Mark, Bristol City again this weekend. Given the, the results and the performances, especially after Tuesday night's performance against the same opponents, how much are you looking forward to this one? Yeah, very much. Um, there's no doubt uh, Lee will have his team um, well up for the game. You know, they were disappointed the other night to lose any game is frustrating on penalties, obviously, and to concede late. So I'm sure they'll team more than motivated. They're at home in front of a big crowd with big expectations. So we know what we're going to face. We're full of respect for our opponent, but we saw some very good performances uh, and we showed the strength and depth of the squad, which is good to see and for our supporters to see as well. So interesting selection problems, but nice problems to have. As you say, you know, the, the, the changes that you made on Tuesday night didn't affect the, the performance. Does that give you a, a selection headache now? heading into this one? We always had a section of headache, and I, and I don't say that lightly. We knew that the, the squad, players like Ilias, players like Mark Pugh coming, Don Ball you all saw through pre-season. He was very unfortunate to miss the first two league games. Um, but all over the park, we saw really good performances. Matty Smith came back, great to welcome him back. Um, and you saw so many Todd Kane starting the game. So we have options. We have, uh, we have players all over the park pushing for competition, pushing odd, offering competition. And what we have to do now is recognise it and use them, use them wisely, I hope. It's a really tough campaign. Our game's now coming up in terms of what we face Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, etc. You have to have players who are fresh and ready for the performance. So hopefully we can use their squad wisely in the weeks ahead. Now, we needed penalties to obviously split the two teams in midweek. How much can we read into Tuesday's game going into Saturday, do you think? I think we can read into as much as they can read into us. That's what it is. Both teams made changes. Both teams had good quality on the pitch. Both teams will be pleased with many aspects of the game. And we showed the boys this morning, we, we created several chances. Really good chance and dominated play for a long period of time. But we're very respectful of our opponent. They possess quality all over the park, possess an attacking threat. The likes of Afobi and, and Wyman coming back in, Brownhill coming back in, Will Pereira be fit with his crossing ability. So they pose several threats. But we, we do ourselves as well. So the squad is ready. We trained well this morning. Train again later tomorrow and travel. We're looking forward to what we know will be a really, uh, a really challenging encounter. And no doubt we'll be travelling there as underdogs like we did at Stoke on the opening day. Given that performance especially, is that something that the boys, do you think, are relishing? No, they're relishing because they're competitive athletes. But, you know, listen, we don't run before we can walk. We're only, we're only three games into a season. There's a, there's a lot of games, there's a lot of football ahead. And we're still very much bedding in, gelling in to understand why we go there as underdogs. That, that's natural, you know, that's, uh, that's perfectly understandable. But what we have to do there is go there and deliver another performance. It's all about the next game. It's about training well, preparing well, analysing well, and looking forward to the event. So um, we'll go there in good spirits. We look to give a really good performance and hope to get the three points. And just finally, team news wise, we know Lee Wallace has been missing. Has everyone else come through unscathed after Tuesday? Yeah, they have. We've got to see Lee out in the grass this morning, ever, ever more involved, and, and he's worked so hard. Credit to him and the medical team. He's been deeply frustrated, but there's no doubt they had quality. But as I mentioned, Ryan Manning has grabbed the shirt and done outstandingly well with it. So great to see that level of competition in the, in the coming weeks. But no, uh, Mide took a knock, see how he is for the weekend. But, uh, but at the moment, other squad's in good shape, and um, selection headache continues.